hello beautiful people welcome and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video it is an honor to have you here on my channel i know it's been a while i posted this kind of video cooking vlog so today i am posting a cooking vlog i am cooking for a family of five my family is a family of five so i will be whipping up some delicious home cooked meal i am sure you're going to enjoy this vlog so remember to watch from beginning to the end and also don't forget to support your girl the only way you can show me support is by giving this video a massive thumbs up subscribing to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and sharing my video with your family and friends on your other platform social media platform thank you so much in advance all right let's begin i am going to start by making a salad a big bowl of salad to last us for some time so this is quinoa salad i'm using this type of quinoa you can use any particular type of quinoa that you like this is the tri color so is the red the white and uh, the very dark color i think is the black i just wash it in water and um you don't have to soak it actually if you if you want you can soak it but i didn't soak this one it's perfectly fine so i just wash it and put it to boil while it's boiling i will make um burger burger i think that's how it's spelled burger right so i will put that because i will combine everything together to make this delicious wonderful salad it can stay in the fridge for up to five days um, I'm not sure if it can stay longer than that, but we've never left it for that long. But this is how I make it. I have a full recipe video on my channel, how to make this salad. Trust me, you're going to enjoy salad. If you're not the type that likes salad, this is the one that you're going to enjoy because it's full of flavor. It has, it's sweet, it's sour, it's tangy, it ha it's creamy. So you will enjoy it anyways uh, enjoy the vlog like i said this vlog is long but i know you're going to enjoy every single minute of it because it's just packed with cooking with flavor with a good sound too <laughs> For 
your presence in here This very hour For your presence in here In His name I find In His name I find In His name So now that I have the salad and the plantain out of the way, I am going to focus on the protein. I'm using chicken and the part of chicken I'm using is chicken thighs. You can use any part of chicken you want and I'm going to season it very well. I'm using thyme, I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, salt, um, thyme, yes, oregano and um, paprika. So the red one over there is paprika, curry powder, and salt. I will just toss it up very, very well. And then I will divide it into two. One is going directly onto the grill outside. And the other one, I will boil it before I put it in the, in the air fryer to grill up. So that's basically, I just want to explain to you what is happening here. Okay. I am free. From the chain that has bound me In your presence I am calm Waiting for the kingdom come In his name I find In his name I find In his name vegetable this general name we call it in Nigeria um, they call it other things in the other parts of Nigeria as well but it's normally called or generally it's called green I love it we get it here in the summer during the winter but it's also expensive this is very expensive I hope I'm looking at the right place <laughs> this is expensive these two I bought for $7.99 each yeah and I'm gonna use it to make some fish sauce yes
whenever I'm cooking in bulk, the only thing that makes it possible that I don't spend the whole day cooking is that I use every single burner that I can use. If I can cook on all three burners I cook, I cook outside, I cook. So it's multitasking. That's the only way you can get it done without being very exhausted. I try to prep some of the ingredients ahead of time. Some of them that I can prep, I prep them ahead of time. But here I am back in the kitchen trying to make um, the fish sauce, the vegetable and fish sauce. The oil you saw me pour in is, I'm just explaining this for those who are not Africans. So you might not be familiar. So the oil that you saw me pour is called palm oil or red oil. That's what we call it. So I want to use that particular oil to make this sauce because it's more like a native local sauce that I'm making. So that's why I'm using that. It, it has a different kind of flavor, right? It's different from your normal vegetable oil, as you can see. <laughs> Obviously, as you can see, but yeah, I'm just adding in um, some white onion, chopped white onion, and I'm going to add other in ingredients as you're going to see uh, while I'm cooking. How are you enjoying this cooking vlog so far? Are you really enjoying it? I am very sure you are. Remember, the only way you can show me your support is by giving me a thumbs up, is by subscribing to my channel, and is by leaving me a nice comment in the comment section. It can be a question, okay? Let me know if you want me to make a detailed video of the sauce uh, that you saw me started making the vegetable and fish sauce if you want me to make a detailed video let me know in the comment section then i will make a complete video just focusing on that sauce alone
life. How are you doing wherever you are, wherever you're watching me from? I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing to my channel, for supporting me, for giving me a like, for leaving a comment in the comment section for me and for sharing my video. I don't take it for granted. I know I don't have quite a lot of subscribers, not even up to 500, but I'm very sure that before the end of this month, September 2023, I will get to 500 subscribers. So help me God, because I know you're going to help me. I know you're going to support me, okay? So I am thanking you in advance for sharing my videos, for subscribing if you're yet to subscribe. Just look at our dish. It is looking very, very yummy, okay? It tastes absolutely delicious. We Africans, especially we Nigerians, so I will only speak for Nigerians that I know, we love our vegetables cooked up, okay? cooked up with a lot of meat or fish or whatever you want or a combination of both but this is how we love to eat our vegetable eat different species of vegetable some are very very bitter but we love it just like that okay look at that vegetable sauce you can use it to eat rice you can use it to eat yam you can use it to eat potatoes you can use it you can use it to eat different different kind of things so i'm going ahead now to focus on jollof rice what is nigerian cooking without jollof rice you must cook jollof rice or stew something so i'm putting the chicken that i boiled before earlier i'm putting it in the grill here i don't know why i just love to have two different flavors one have the smoky flavor and this one is just doesn't have the smoky flavor but it's very very well seasoned and very very tasty so i already have a video a complete video of how i cook jollof rice there are different ways of cooking jollof rice there's no one perfect way of cooking jollof rice so i'm just going ahead now to add everything here i'm decanting um the chicken sauce sorry the chicken yeah the chicken sauce yeah the chicken the water from the chicken that i boiled earlier i have to add it there it gives the ginger it makes your jollof rice taste way way better okay when you add uh, meat sauce whether it's chicken or beef or whatever um protein sauce you have you need to add it and i'm going to make some yam nigerian yam this is a new yam well if you're not familiar with yam you don't know which one is new yam or which one is not new yam but anything african food this is, is very yam. very expensive outside of africa outside of nigeria yam. this yam alone is ten dollars i think it's ten or twelve dollars that what i bought can I do? I yam is one very one. very expensive this is almost like a bag of rice if it's if it was back home it's not going to be this expensive but what can we do we have to eat every now and then it's not something i eat all the time but once in a while i crave yam i have to pay for it and i thank the people who even take you know the hassle of bringing it here for us because it doesn't grow here they have some in the caribbean but it's not exactly the same there are different species of yam yeah this one is just white yam I'm almost to the end of my cooking vlog so tell me if you like this video if you enjoy this video so that I will be making more of this kind of video I like making this kind of video myself I like carrying you guys along as I cook for my family in my kitchen I'm just cooking some white rice and lentil I'm adding some lentil to it yeah that lentil is good because it makes you to drink a lot of water <laughs> I just add a little bit of oil to it, cover it, and then we're going to use some of that sauce to eat this.
that my soul could depend all right guys so so far we have two chicken this is the one from outside from the grill outside it's now cool down we have the one from that was boiled and then put in the air fryer and then here is the rice i already portioned the rice i'm gonna add chicken to it i know this place is dark okay it's dark so it's just the same rice but i don't have enough lights up here but i've portioned everything for the week at least we have our lunch for the week and i have plantain here i still have rice here i have i still have to pack up this one the other sauce i already put it away but here is what it's looking like i've done so well i just have to add the chicken over here and also we still have salad Camelon here so at least I've packed up for food now so that right guys so it's not easy this is a one man thing obviously maybe maybe you can't tell but it's it's in the night it's dark yes I have to let the food cool down before I pack them up but it's a one man business <laughs> I plan I execute I film myself I pack myself, I edit, so it's not easy. So please kindly support your girl by giving this video a thumbs up, sharing my videos with your friends on your other social media. It is not easy. That's the only way you can support me is by leaving a comment for me, giving me a thumbs up, just telling me, go girl, you can do this. Yeah, when you have a family, what can you do? But it's something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy creating this kind of content. You know, cooking is just a passion for me, like I said before. It's something that I like doing. So, anyways, let me not talk too much. I just wanted to end the vlog just to show you, you know, where we are. Until I come your way the next time, stay safe, remain blessed. Remember that I'm still your girl. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye. Chain down